Uh, the panic system generates loneliness and sadness, and like I told you, in chickens we measure separation calls. So play brings you great joy. If you have too much psychological pain, namely the panic system, probably causes panic attacks also. This is the gateway to depression, too much psychological pain. If it's way beyond bounds, people begin to think about killing themselves. So we have developed one antidepressant by focusing on the molecular biology of happiness and joy, and it is currently in human testing. Yes, that is the way tender, loving feelings feel in the mind. It has a certain dynamic. It comes across in the body, the way the mother caresses a child. And a child that doesn't have that will have psychological problems for the rest of his or her life. So, if we understand these emotional systems, some of them will be rewarding, some are punishing, but they're never neutral. And that is the evidence that they have emotional feelings. And we can predict that if we stimulate the rage system in humans, they will be very angry, and that has been shown just accidentally during surgical procedures. It turns out that our love and our attachment are partially addictive phenomena. They ride upon our internal opioids. They pro provide us with a sense of security that everything is right in the world. So there we are. That is the reason we become addicted to these molecules. And it's a tragedy of our country that we put people in jail as opposed to putting them in treatment facilities to explain what's happening in their brains. Well, I think uh, it would be wonderful if our government had an open conversation about the sources of addiction in our brain. Opioids mediate motherly love, the attachment bond between mother and child, the attachment bond between loving adults. And then we found that the molecule that releases milk from the breast also is very powerful in the brain in reducing the panic response, the separation distress response. And lo and behold, the molecule that manufactures milk in the breast is equally effective in reducing separation distress. So the physiology of motherhood is the physiology of love. We could tickle animals and generate a lot of vocal activity that appears to be laughter. These animals would begin to enjoy our company and they would start to play with our hands and wherever we would put our hands, they would follow it. If we finally take the emotions of the other animals seriously, we will finally understand how we have these feelings of joy and sorrow, anger and sadness.